Bunny. Yes. Let's let's talk about video games. Okay. I grew up with video games, Bunny. I I was eight years old, and oh my god, there were arcades everywhere. Yeah. There were just there were there were arcades all over the place. You'd go to a mall, and there'd be you know two arcades in in. And then a year or two later, we got a Nintendo Entertainment System, and now, ooh, ooh, that was a game changer. Now we have video games in our house. So I, I grew up loving video games, is what I'm saying. But yeah. then, at some point, at some goddamn point in time, in my 20s or 30s, I, I just grew up. Yeah. And as as I grew up, I sort of lost my love of video games. I loved games in the 80s or and did, 90s. Or but did they leave us? I'm sorry. Or did they leave us, those cheap motherfuckers? That's what I would say. I mean, video, vid, a video arcade was just like the first place I had ever found where I can like totally lose myself for an hour or two. You know, because yeah. you had to shut out, know. you had to shut out everything around you to play the fucking game. Yeah, but I don't know if I was ever really a gamer, with finger quotes. Yeah, honestly, I don't even think that the concept of a gamer was even a thing in eighty nine or ninety five or even ninety eight. You know, I don't know if gamer existed back then. I I, I would as- estimate that it would have it would have become a thing when it became uh oh fuck when um doom when the original doom came out okay and then at some point in time i'm not sure when may maybe after we discovered that y2k was a crock of shit but at some time in the 21st century being a gamer became a thing and i just missed it i yeah. i have a hard time sitting in front of the TV pretending to shoot people for six hours, especially since I have kids. I don't know how my brother-in-law, Dwayne, does it, but he is able yeah, to... Yeah, but if you can... Oh, no, let me tell you how Dwayne does it. <laughs> yes, please. ADHD. The same way our kids do it. ADHD. Because when you, when you have ADHD, there's something about video games and the stimulation to your mind that just triggers like you can sit there for hours upon hours Hmm. and you get really upset Dwayne destroyed our nintendo because of like losing bella gets really upset when maxwell does shit on the games bella gets really upset when maxwell's playing a game but also he's moving around the entire living room as he's playing a game oh i'm just saying it is it's an adhd thing and anybody with adhd can vouch for that like I, I don't know. My mom used to say, oh, no, I, I think it's just like a hand-eye coordination thing. Like, and, and that's not now that I'm older, I'm like, okay, now I get it. it my cousin Stephen could, was the same way. Alicia could be, but she's too meh. Um, but Bella's the same way. Max is the same way. Dwayne, all the time, ever since we were little. When I was younger, I had no problem with it. But when I was, you know... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I would sleep over at a person's house, and the only thing that we would do from the moment I got there to the moment I left would be just sitting in front of the Nintendo yeah, or the Super Nintendo playing video games. But now that I'm older, like I, I've got things to do, responsibilities. The internet exists. I don't yeah. have time to like sit and pretend to be an army guy. I don't. You know? I, I don't. I never could sit for hours upon hours like as long i mean i guess sure i could spend three hours on a video game at some point in my life usually drinking's involved yep. but like just to sit there all, like that all the time yeah nah i can't yeah yeah and also and especially when you're a parent like you could be a gamer but you're going to be shirking some respons- responsibilities shirking them i shirk. said shirk yes it's a weird word but yeah, so like like I I I can't spend eight hours pretending to be the army on on like the PS on the <laughs> Xbox fifty or whatever. I can't do that, especially since the two youngest kids that we have legitimately it would not not so much Maxwell, but Eleanor needs to literally be stared at twenty four seven or she will destroy the city. <laughs> 
Sometimes I can yeah, barely but, go to okay, the but, but, like, but once in your life, you really have to, you really have to experience a good old fashioned land party. Yeah, like we did in the old days. That would that was fun. Uh-huh. People people picking up their computers and putting them into trunks to go to somebody's house and set yeah. them all back up again to spend the night playing generally a specific game you were going for uh the one i had gone to we were playing half-life nice you know so so it's just it's just hanging out with friends yeah having a massive fucking game drinking carousing all the rest you know people whipping out strange mods like one guy, one guy had a had a map where we had to chase down Saddam Hussein. Nice. Like you're fucking kidding. It looked awful, but who cared? You're partying, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. You're not. It, it, there's more going on in a land party than just playing the video game. But sorry, that's grumpy old man shit. <laughs> so so what i'm saying is i'm not a gamer i don't care too much about video games and i think that a lot of people they i a lot of people do it's a big business but i don't obsess over games the way the way i do and i dare say the way society does uh, obsess when it comes to movies yeah People obsess over movies, films, movie studios, box office numbers, the people who work on the movies, the creators of the movies, their whole careers. Most people don't get think in those terms yeah. when it comes to video games. Most people don't obsess over the behind-the-scenes nature of video games the way that they do movies. I love box office numbers and all that. I I love the in the inner workings of the movie industry. But, but that's I'm only but think- that's only because they don't talk to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm thinking is, especially with news that came out recently, I'm thinking that maybe we should all start thinking about video games like this. Yeah. So- yeah. I'm thinking that we all should, because whether we want to believe it or not, video games just make more money than movies do in theaters. A lot of movie champions say, hey, sure, video games make more than movies in theaters, but what about DVD sales? And it's like, okay, well, Avatar, the blue one, and and it's sad that I have to keep saying that, but the blue Avatar made $2.7 billion in in the box office with yeah. an untold amount of DVD sales. Uh, I tried to 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 look and see how, exactly how much money Avatar made in DVD sales, and I, I I had a very hard time trying to find that number. But sure once a movie leaves once a movie leaves theaters and goes into homes it gets harder to figure out numbers but yeah uh, we should care more about video games there's a new story out there so rockstar games they're responsible for the grand theft auto series among other things in 2013 they released grand theft auto 5 remember that 2.7 2.7 billion dollars in the box office. Yeah. And however um, however much amount they've made in DVD sales, I mean those DVD sales quickly decline. I'm thinking maybe Avatar has made, I don't know, 4 billion dollars, maybe. That's that's like a really I I, I don't liber- know the I, I know it was the most expensive movie ever made. Yeah. But what but what we do know is 2.7 billion at the box office. In 2013, Rockstar Games released Grand Theft Auto 5 and in 5 years that video game has made just this one game, one single game, it has made 6 billion dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's and there's a lot of that's... there's a lot. I mean, that's where that's where 
special effects software, 3D software, all that kind of software, all the really good shit that's coming to us, to people like me doing it, is it comes mostly out of the game industry. Yeah. Yeah. Then it'll get like it, tweaked I, out for Hollywood or something like that. Yeah. Video games just make so much more money than films. I sometimes find it odd that such importance is placed on, ooh, the film A Quiet Place has made $100 million. Yeah. Ooh, this is huge. Let's focus on this. But but Grand Theft Auto V is written off because it's a video game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a gamer, but that doesn't seem 100% fair. Maybe we should all... I'm just saying we as a society should take video games differently. And video, you know? video games can have some really deep, intricate plots. Yeah. You know, which is kind of why I don't want to get into them, you know? Yeah. Because I, I, yeah. I think I would probably be playing some of this shit all the time if it wasn't for all the shooting, you know? Yeah. Uh, now... But but I, I, I've, I've loved all the Silent Hill games. Yeah. Now, I can't speak for all of society. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. It's really fucking easy. Hi, I'm society. Guess what? We're giving M. Night Shyamalan a second chance. <laughs> I'm M. Night... I'm society. Uh, 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 you want to know how many of us who are white females voted for Trump? The number will surprise you. But if I could speak for society, we should all kind of take a, a, a better look at video games and take them more seriously. Is well, what I'm saying. But what can we do when the politicians aren't listening to us? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I got. So that's all I got about video games. Cool. Uh, 